All right, so we're going to build a grid in perspective to a picture. So let's get this started. Got the layers in here, surface creation and the different types of views. As you can see here, I created all my layers. All you have to do is type in layers, and it will bring you this. And you could just type in all the different types of names for all the different layers you want to submit something in. So first layers for the picture. So what we're gonna do is type in picture. We'll look up the picture I want. Start at the zero. Now for my floor grid, I moved on to this layer as you can see. Start from zero. Let's say you want it to be forty. Feet. Hold on. Shift. So I want it to be forty feet exact. See that is straight right there. And then let's go into perspective here. Zoom in a little more. Actually, zoom in a little out. I want to scale this picture to that floor horizontal line. I'm to scale it. There, click there, then we're going to drag it all the way to the end of that point. What we're going to want to do is rotate it 90 degrees. going to want to make it equal to the floor of the picture. So what we're going to do is move it up. That looks just about right. As well as shift it. So make it perpendicular. Perfect. Go back to perspective. So now we want to do our floor grid. Bring this up forward to get that line perfect right there. So as you can see in the perspective view, the horizontal line matches the picture. And what we're going to do just lock in this layer to leave the picture as it is. Make sure you search OSNAP and you do endpoints to connect the endpoints of this because I'm about to make a floor grid. So you make sure endpoint is on. Mine's already on. Check it. Click done. Go right here. Click right there. And I want it to be 40 feet as well. So shift, I don't want to do that, it's already 40 feet, 
Now I want it to be 40 feet again. I want it like this. And there. Now let me get this in a better view for you guys to see. So there's my floor grid. Now Rhino likes to make this one whole square. What I want to do is explode it to make these lines their own individual line. Then I want to divide the lines to not make the grids. Divide them equally. Let's say height and four. Say forty divided by four. Ten segments. Do the same thing over here. Divide. Segments ten. Here we go. And done. So now we want to make a floor grid out of these points. So what we're gonna do is connect them. Now this would take some time, so I'm about to show you a faster way in a second. Here, let's undo that. Enter. Now, what you can do is Group these. I'm using this on a Mac right now, so Command C, Command V to copy and paste it. But on a Windows, it'd be Control. As I'm pretty sure, yeah, Control C or Control V for Windows. And then what we want to do is move it. As you can see here. Just shifting these. You could just do the same thing, so give it a second to load and move. There's that shift again. Perfect. So it's a little bit of a faster way. I'm going to do the same thing right here. Group them. Command C, Command V. Again, Control C, Control V for Windows. Command C, Command V. And there's the floor grid. Now what we can do is hide this layer so I can just group this whole grid as one unit. There you go. Now I can bring it back. Now what we want to do is create the vertical lines from the base of the grid to the ceiling 
So what we're going to do is use a specific type of a command and that would be line vertical to C plane. So it's the line we want to use. Have the O snaps on, so this is the end point. What you want to do I'll raise my point uh, 12 and I'll just make it 10 5 4 Looks about right. Enter it. So there's my vertical line right there. And if I want to move this one as well, Command C, Command V. move from right here to right there same thing here There are four elements right there. So those are our vertical planes. And so we want to do is hide this for a second. Get that out the way. Go back to our floor grid. Command C, Command V. And then what we want to do is raise it up. So we're going to move it. Have our end snaps on so we can move from this point to that point. You can see there's that. Now we can bring the picture back. To bring it into more of a perspective. That's how you create the grid. Now if you want to hide this, it's always nice to sometimes copy this whole thing and shift it. Just so you have another grid saved up there in case you want to make any changes. But uh, yeah, that's just about it. I like the layers because you can play with them. You can hide and reveal all the different types of layers, so that's a great thing about them. But yeah, it's a little thing about layers and that's how you make a floor grid.